Amid the escalating demand for defense equipment technologies and services, India's defense sector holds a lucrative ordering opportunity of $138 billion over the next 10 years. Saga Defense Engineering has unveiled its Bali unmanned surface vehicle, that features kamikaze capability, intelligent object tracking, homing mode and swarm capability. It has an endurance of 10 hours and a speed of over 25 knots. The Vajra Corps of the Indian Army witnessed integrated small arms firing with hexacopter at the western sector. Recent satellite images has sparked speculation about a new facility being constructed near Cochin shipyard in India, that could be dedicated to develop the larger S-5 class SSPNs. Bharat Forge has announced its entry into the development of a light tank, but it's still unclear whether they will utilize the DRDO design, or create their own design, or pursue foreign collaboration. Along with Trish T10UAV, Adani Defense will deliver the limited series produced UAV launched precision guided munition, and the very short range air defense system to the Indian Army. The Indian Air Force is seeking proposals from the local industry, original equipment manufacturers and joint venture firms, for the repair and overhaul of airframes along with certain components of the AN-32 aircraft. ISRO's Commercial Arm New Space India Limited has released the request for qualification, to invite industry partners to develop heavy lift rocket launch vehicle Mark III in public-private partnership mode. In a major development, Russian companies have spent nearly $4 billion from their Rupee Vostroa accounts, to buy Indian-made weapons among other purchases over the past six months. Officials have said, that Russia held around $8 billion in the Vostroa accounts, however, during the last six months, a large part of the amount has been used by Russia. MBD has shown willingness to reconsider integration of meteor missile on the Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2, once they are equipped with an indigenous Uttam Asa radar. Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the Uttam radar will be integrated into the Tejas Mark 1A from the 41st aircraft onwards, that will open the door for future meteor integration. India is also developing its 300 km range ramjet powered Astra Mark 3 missile, however, Bulk induction of the Astra Mark III is still four years away, due to which the Meteor has emerged as an interim solution. The DRDO is developing frequency selective surfaces radome for the AMCA program, which are engineered with metamaterials that possess unique electromagnetic properties. These metamaterials can be designed to selectively allow or block specific radio wave frequencies, and it allows radar signals to pass through for essential functions like communication and navigation, while simultaneously blocking frequencies used by enemy radars, that significantly reduces the AMCA's radar signature. The Indian Air Force and Hindustan Aeronautics are in talks regarding the integration of the ASRAM missile on Su-30 fighter jets, and this development comes nearly five years after initial plans for the integration were approved. As a test project, two Su-30 aircraft are already being outfitted with the ASRAM, and if the trials are successful, the Air Force plans to equip its entire Su-30 fleet with the 30 km range ASRAM missile in a phased manner. Today's top 3 comments. <laughs>